Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be doing a Honkai Star Rail Puzzles tier list, right? Uh, this is a update to a tier list that I made uh, on May 28th, 2023, I think. The very first tier list I ever made on the account. And that tier list, that, that video at least, showed me that not only was I having a shit ton of fun making the tier lists, but people liked to watch them. I think that video got over 500 views. It was the most watched video on my account and, uh, at the time. And I was like, man, people really like watching tier lists. And people, it sparks conversation. And I love making them for the same reasons. Uh, it's just fun. It's entertaining. It's enjoyable. And we're going to do this update. The reason why this update didn't come any sooner is because no new puzzles were added, at least none that I can remember. I could be missing some off the lineup, right? Because I make this uh, this template uh, because I looked it up before and also again recently. There are no Honkai Star Rail puzzles tier lists uh, templates on tier maker right now, except for the one that I made, unless I just couldn't find it, which is also a problem if it's buried. Um, but yeah, so I put on the Penacony ones that came out and thank you Penacony for coming out because you gave me a reason to remake this tier list and your puzzles are by the way, super awesome. And we're going to get to that. I made an F tier. Uh, I made an F tier to this just so I could express how much I hate the carts. That didn't change. I hate the carts. I despise the carts. Anyway, next up is going to be the box. It's just, it's kind of fun, right? The whole idea is kind of fun, but it's not really, it doesn't really get my brain going. It doesn't, it doesn't at all. Um, it, it takes, hmm, I don't know. I don't know guys, because I mean, let's be honest. This is, this is at least still a tier for me where you create the bridge and then you walk across it just cause you see the juicy chest on the other side. This one, you're technically building a chest as well, and it doesn't take a lot, a lot, a lot of time. I think it's a C tier, but this one's actually still S tier. Um, that's that's just where I gotta put them. I mean, they don't really, neither of them really rack your brain at all. But the one in S tier is a lot faster. One, it's it's faster, and it's just fun for me. I don't know why. I like the ones where you like backtracking. You know, I don't know why. I don't know. This one, I'm not a big fan of uh, the gear turnings just to make, just you know, light everything up. That's not, it, I don't know. It doesn't really tickle my fancy. Uh, I don't remember if it tickled my fancy the last time I recorded this video, but uh, that was eight months ago. Opinions can change. And as you can see, um, not a lot of them have, but I think we're going to get there. All right. I think we're going to get there because this one is actually, I don't remember where I put it before. I think I had it kind of low. This one is actually gonna be in B tier for now. I think some of them really uh racked my brain a bit. Some of the harder ones um really really boggled my mind at points. Um I remember there was one I just got frustrated and I looked up a guide. It's the only puzzle I have ever looked up a guide for because I just got I was just like okay it's gonna be like turn this a specific amount of times and turn this a specific amount of times. And it's just like I could sit here for a long time and not figure that out and just be stupid for like a half an hour. And that's just not how much time I want to spend on getting a chest that's worth five stellar jades. Okay. So I just decided not to do it. I just looked it up if I'm being honest, but I think it's fun. I think, I think they are fun whenever they get challenging. Um, and I like it. These ones, the, the one where you have to activate the things and then move them around. Well, no, you don't have to activate them, but you move them around to create a specific shape. The fact that you have to like remove one to put the other one there. It's just like the switcher. Like, I don't know. They're not hard at all. It's something that you see the shape and you're like, Oh, I know how to make that. You do it in your head like instantly, but then it just takes a bunch of clicking to get there. It just takes a, an absurd amount of clicking to get there. Okay. Sometimes when you have to like move like every single one of them once or twice, like, Oh my God, man. It, it just gets annoying. This one, this one right here, 
uh, where you shoot the laser, it, it, it kind of, it just doesn't tickle my fancy. It just doesn't tickle my fancy at all. I think that's a D tier one as well. I think some of them moved down because what we're going to get at is that there are, there are some new kids on the block, okay? And they are badass, okay? The next two are going to be A tier. I can explain why. The crates, I believe, were S tier uh, before. They moved down, but I still have fun. I, I still had a lot of fun with the crates. I know that I did. Um, I remember having fun with the crates. Some of them, even whenever they got challenging, I was like, okay, wait, how am I supposed to move these crates around? Some of them did actually make me think. I had a lot of fun with those. The next one, also the thing where you have to like spin the dials around so you can like land the thing in this in the hexagon that it's supposed to be in. Uh, I thought that that was really fun. I, I liked it a lot moving them around, especially whenever you got like two that you need to put in in a position. Uh, some of them actually did start making me use my brain, like I'm saying. Um, so I had a lot of fun with those as well. Uh, probably second to the crates. I think right to left does or left to right does matter um wait no yeah left to right does matter left will be the best of the tier right will be the worst of the tier um but yeah that's just how i feel i think my opinion on this drastically change i just didn't like it that much like i don't know maybe maybe like this maybe i think this is this is probably the way Anyway, does this really deserve est? I don't know. It'll make me look like a Panacone rider, but if that doesn't spoil it, I believe that these Panacone puzzles are the best in the game. I think that the devs stepped up their puzzle game a lot. A lot. There, there, there are no L's so far in Pentacone. That is awesome. That is awesome. I did Pentacone. I, I did it, and I just felt really satisfied with every puzzle that I did. I thought it was really fun. Um, these, I just like the laser, like moving the, uh, moving the, uh, the ping pongs around, and like getting to the other side through like shooting yourself and bouncing off of things. I thought it was kind of fun, where you have to activate them, um, and then like rotate them as well. Or you'd have to pick ones that you can't activate or else, you know, you don't get to where you're trying to go. Uh, I think that this is just, I, I think it's just fun. I think it's just fun. They have a whole event out where it's just these, basically. Uh, just the ping pong. It's, it's a whole event. You get a shit ton of rewards. And it is so easy to get all those rewards. And it's so, it's just fun. I don't know. It, it's just fun. I like it. I would do this. A million times over before I, I want to do a minecart event. That's just the way it is. Uh, also, this one where you're mapping out uh, kind of where you have to move because you your character stops at walls and then you basically have to like go forward to hit a wall, go you know to the left to hit a wall, go backwards to hit a wall, and then you go right and then you'll hit like a, a box that's kind of like in the middle of the thing. But then you can use that to stop yourself to like go straight into the uh, the finish line. I just thought that that was cool. I liked it a lot, actually. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just like it. It's just enjoyable. The Pentacone puzzles are just enjoyable, even if they're not hard. But that brings me to my next one. This one is, I, I think it is easily the most difficult puzzle in the game. I think that. That the one where you're trying to uh, move your character around and like pick, the, pick up the gears or clocky or whatever. Um, I think that one is the hardest for sure whenever it gets to like the more difficult versions of the puzzle. Because moving the mirror around and you have to like move the platforms around and there's later one or there's ones that are a little more difficult where like the platform kind of like shifts and there's like you're playing with elevation, you're playing with like bridges that you move across. Uh, platforms that you like rotate and things like that all in aim to try and make a path that takes the character to the gear to loot it um, and then also while you're doing all that you have to position the mirror 
find a way to position the mirror in a place where it also like gives you the ability to get to other places through you know mirroring what you did in other places like you know what i mean you know if if you played the game i mean if you if you're probably not watching this if you haven't played the game obviously so you know what i'm talking about there's a lot of moving parts honestly it can kind of make you think and i like it it's really 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 fun i think it is probably the best the most well designed one and i don't think every puzzle has to be a thinker right these other ones really aren't that big of a thinker right they're really not that big especially i mean this one the one that was in s tier before where you build a bridge by walking yeah yeah that, that that's crazy that, that, that thing takes like five seconds every time but i love it and i don't know why i love it i just love it i just think it's fun <laughs> i don't know uh that's just how it is uh harder doesn't mean gooder but harder can you know making you lose your use your brain a little bit is definitely a plus you know that doesn't have to be the whole theme of the puzzle where it's difficult but as long as it's fun as long as it's fun that's what matters thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video like it if you dislike it oh well that's a hey, that's how it is i guess you just gotta dislike it um subscribe for more content i'm gonna be doing a few updates on a few other tier lists i think it I, I'm just in a fun mood tonight, so I'm going to do probably a waifu and husbando tier list update just because I find it fun to do those. Whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, I love you guys. Peace. Subscribe.